Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about the natural and safe measures you can use to help you better control diabetes. We have more diabetics in this country than ever, and something needs to be done. We need these natural measures because diabetes causes many health complications that causes great suffering throughout this great land of ours. Diabetes measures, natural and safe, that's our concept for today. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Each migraine sufferer has their own unique set of migraine triggers. Researchers from the U Medical University of Vienna analyzed the detailed diaries of 326 migraine sufferers recorded over 90 days. They found 87% of the study subjects had on average four triggers that set on an episode of migraine headache. The study was published by the medical journal Cephalgia. Related research from the University of Cincinnati finds headache sufferers are at heightened risk of also developing hypothyroidism, a condition where the thyroid gland does not make enough thyroid hormone. Researchers analyzed health parameters of over 8,400 subjects. They found those with any type of headache were at 21% increased risk, and migraine sufferers were at 41% increased risk of hypothyroidism. This is the first study to make the headache hypothyroidism connection. It was published by the Headache, the Journal of Head and Face Pain. Folks, severe and chronic headaches are among the most painful and disabling conditions a human can suffer from, so any information that may help those who suffer from headaches, well, it's absolutely worth our effort, isn't it? First, we learned that almost all, about 90%, of all migraine sufferers have migraine-inducing triggers. These are behaviors, medicines, or dietary practices that are unintentionally triggering migraines. If these triggers can be identified and then avoided, the migraine can be avoided. The key to finding these triggers is a complete and thorough daily diary taken over 90 days. You may discover your triggers within the first week, but then again you may not. But if you stick with the program, 9 out of 10 migraine sufferers will be able to find what is causing their headaches. The study also found the triggers are unique for each migraine sufferer, so just giving you a list of things to avoid is not enough to help most migraine sufferers. However, there are patterns that you may find helpful. Red wine, irregular sleep patterns, hard cheeses, stress, menstruation, low magnesium levels, and excessive sun exposure are common triggers. But one of the most commonly encountered migraine triggers is pain medications. Even the over-counter meds that do not require a doctor's prescription, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, yes, these commonly used drugs may be causing your headaches. Stopping all pain medications often cures severe headaches. It is counterintuitive, but it is true nonetheless. We also learned from our second study that headaches can be one of the earliest signs of impending hypothyroidism. This study also found treating the hypothyroidism almost always helps to relieve the early symptom headaches. Older people frequently do not ingest enough protein in their diet. New research from Bournemouth University finds the reason why seniors often fall short on necessary protein. The study found for a senior to choose a protein-rich dish, it must be healthy and it must taste good. But the food choice must also be convenient to purchase and prepare along with being affordable. When seniors fall short on dietary protein intake, it increases their risk of immune suppression, fatigue and weakness along with falls that may result in concussion or hip fracture. Related research from the University of California, San Francisco finds seniors aged 70 to 89 who walk regularly are less likely to suffer disability from major mobility problems. And if they do incur a major injury, the seniors who walk regularly spend 25% less time disabled. Well, folks, here we have two of the secrets associated with successful senior living. First, it is critical that as we get older, we continue to eat protein-rich foods. But that is not always easy for seniors to do, is it? First, protein foods such as meat, fish, eggs, and dairy are the most expensive foods, and they have in recent years been portrayed as less healthy foods, a trend that fortunately is now changing. Yes, high-protein foods are healthy foods once again. Also, meats, fish, and dairy require extensive preparation to turn them into palatable dishes. Seniors often must cook for just themselves, and that's not very rewarding, is it? And seniors must have trouble chewing meats. Many of them do have dental issues, so all of these things and more add up to seniors falling short on protein requirements. And when we do, 
It suppresses the immune system and makes us weak and susceptible to falls. And from our second study, if we have an accident in a weakened state due to poor exercise and dietary habits, we will spend more time disabled and in pain than if we had been in better shape and been eating a protein-rich diet. Now, no medicine can do for us what exercise and a healthy diet achieve. But achieving these worthy things takes knowledge and effort. Bottom line on this issue, seniors, stay strong by taking regular walks and by keeping tasty and convenient protein-rich dishes on hand so meal making is quick, easy, and nutritious. These simple and basic things will help to prolong your independence and pain-free life. That's worth it, isn't it? On today's Your Health, we'd like to discuss the dietary supplements that will help you manage diabetes. Stay tuned to learn more. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker's Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Are you one of the millions of Americans who are at risk for heart problems? If your diet is like the average Americans, you're getting far more sodium than your body needs and this may create serious problems for your heart. A new study from the Netherlands showed that a diet high in salt not only increases blood pressure to dangerous levels, it also causes damage to your blood vessels. To avoid these problems, you need to avoid foods that are high in salt such as preserved and prepared foods like frozen dinners, canned soups and other canned foods, cured meats such as lunch meat, hot dogs, bacon and sausage, condiments of sauces such as soy sauce, teriyaki sauce and spaghetti sauce, and snack foods such as salted nuts, pretzels and chips. Eat fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh meats, poultry, fish and other salt-free alternatives. As you decrease your intake of salt, your desire for salty foods will eventually be reduced. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Becker. Every day about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It is such a blessing to be with you today. We're going to sit together and we're going to learn a lot today. We're going to be talking about how you can manage your diabetes the natural way. And yes, you can. There's hope for you diabetics. I know that it's a very debilitating disease and it's really hard to manage and there's so many steps you have to do, but we can help you. So sit back and listen and write down your notes today. Richard's got a great presentation on diabetes. So Richard, to start yeah. with, we could explain to everybody what diabetes is, because I think there is somewhat of a, of a misnomer out there about, yes. am I diabetic, am I not? Yes. Well, there's a point where you are a diabetic and there's a point where you're not. There's mm -hmm. a, a clear, a distinct definition, but often doctors make that a little vague to soften the blow to people because it is a complete change of life and attitude when you're told 
you now have diabetes. It's a big change. There, uh, what is diabetes? Let's go to the basics. It's a metabolic syndrome that leads to elevated serum or blood glucose levels. And when our blood glucose level is elevated, it damages the microvascular, the capillaries, and various tissues. And this damage is what leads to the complications of diabetes. There are three basic types of diabetes. Type 1 is insulin dependent, typically starts at a young age. These people make no insulin or very little of it, and they're required to take insulin. Type 2 is what we have always called adult onset diabetes. This is uh, characterized in most cases by insulin resistance. You actually make too much insulin, but it doesn't work very well. The third type is gestational diabetes. This is uh, elevated blood glucose levels when a woman is pregnant. Now, this person, she may be pregnant in 25 with gestational diabetes. She's at heightened risk for adult onset diabetes later in life. So if this has happened to you, gestational diabetes, pay attention. Make some changes now. Maybe you won't be told you're now a diabetic. That would be nice to avoid that. 80% of all of our diabetics in the world today are now the two, type 2, the adult onset diabetes. And it is a direct result of overeating, weight gain, and the new finding in adult onset diabetes now is they, have, they haven't proven it yet, but there's increasing evidence that the world's pollution level is playing a role in our increasing diabetes. Isn't that something? And the concept here is the pollution damages our mitochondria, the energy uh, organelles in our cells where all this metabolism occurs. And if that's damaged, we can't process our glucose and up it goes. So it kind of makes sense. And we're seeing this pattern and the, the information is, is stacking up. And so this is why, one of the reasons why it's so important to eat organic as best you can, even for the diabetic. Now, there are other reasons for this increase in diabetes, and we must address these issues if we ever hope to manage diabetes successfully. High fructose corn syrup, sugar, refined starches, pesticides, laced GMO genetically modified foods, sedentary behaviors, and nutrient deficiencies all play a role in this diabetes surge. A 2010 Center for Disease report found one out of 10 of us have diabetes, and by the year 2050, one out of three of us will have diabetes. How much information do we have? How, much, how bad does it need to get before we change our patterns? This is the question I always ask myself. Do we not have enough now to say, wait a minute, maybe we're approaching this. If we did it another way, we could spare a lot of misery in the world. But the pattern is increasing. For every 28 diagnosed diabetics, there are six undiagnosed diabetics. We have a total of about 34 million diabetics in our country today. 70 million more are pre-diabetes. They're right on the edge of becoming diabetic. We develop 2.2 million new diabetics every year. 2.2. And you know, the average, the typical diabetic spends 15,000 extra dollars on medical care every year. You start adding that up, that is a huge amount of money spent on diabetes. If you go to a local grade school and corral 400 kids in the gymnasium, one of those children will have type 1 diabetes and one will have type 2 diabetes. Now, the pattern used to be for every one type 1 diabetic child, we, uh, there, excuse me, for every 10 or so type 1 diabetic child, there'd be one of the type 2. There are far more type 1 diabetics than type 2s used to be, but now that's completely flipped. There's far more type 2 diabetics than there are type 1, and that's increasing too. So this pattern is affecting our children as well. It, it, for many, it doesn't take 40 years of bad habits and, and exposure to pollution before they develop diabetes is happening in childhood. $200 billion plus spent every year, 15000 a year per diabetic. You know, if you choose to ignore your diet, you better have a good job and you be, better be a good saver because $15,000 a year will drain your retirement account faster than anything I can think of. These medical bills, they mount up. Now, let's take the diabetes quiz real quick. 
How do you know? How do you feel if you're developing diabetes? What kind of subtle signs and symptoms may you be experiencing? You may have a change in visual acuity or double vision. You may have excessive thirst. Well, I can't get enough water. I'm drinking all day. This leads to excessive urination as well, of course. Excessive hunger. I'm always hungry. The reason for this is we're losing sugar in our urine. We lose our calories and you eat a lot. And this can lead to weight loss. So we gain weight leading up to the diabetes and then we start losing and you find, boy, it's easy to lose weight now. I'm in charge. No, you're not. You're diabetic. That's why you're losing weight easily. Irritability, unexplained fatigue, high glucose levels lead to a syrupy haze. I just don't feel like I have any energy. Sound familiar? If so, get your sugars checked. Itchy, dry skin, infection prone skin. The folds of the skin tend to grow yeast and candida. Sores and cuts that do not heal. Achiness throughout the body. It inhibits the healing process. So the minor traumas of, say, working in the yard over the weekend, Monday and Tuesday morning, boy, I just can't get back to it. I'm sore all the time. A black velvety rash under the neck and armpits. That's called acanthosis nigrans. Not everybody gets that. But if you're developing this rash around your neck and armpits, it can be a sign of diabetes. Not everybody with that black rash has diabetes, but most do. Most do. Weight gain, elevated blood pressure accompanied with a sedentary lifestyle and elevated triglyceride levels and a slightly increased blood glucose level. That's the metabolic center. That's the prelude to diabetes. Weight gain, elevated blood pressure, sedentary, not exercising, triglycerides are up, and the glucose is in the high range of normal when we like to see it right in the middle. Mental fog, loss of clarity, pain, 30% of all diabetics go to the doctor first for the pain in their legs or pain in their abdomen and when really it's diabetes. Well, we can explain your pain, it's diabetes, but we're gonna, it's not going to be so easy to fix that pain. We're going to have to work on it. And of course, there's a family history of type 2 diabetes. These are all classic signs and symptoms. Now, it's not just the genetics of the family. It's the habits and patterns of the family. You know how that goes. We all have our traditions and way of eating and whatnot, and we learn this from our family. And if we, you're learning bad habits, you're at more risk of diabetes. Fasting blood sugar over 126 is diagnostic of diabetes. A two-hour postprandial after you've eaten a meal, two hours after, if it's over 200, that's diagnostic. A hemoglobin A1C at six and a half, that's your long-term blood glucose, that is also diagnostic. But the gold standard diagnostic tool for diabetes is still the glucose tolerance test. You drink a sweet syrupy drink and you follow the blood sugar levels for four hours. After that, that sweet syrupy drink, the glucose comes up. It's supposed to drop quickly as your body processes the glucose. That's normal. But in diabetes, it goes up and it stays up, it stays up for several hours. That is the gold standard to diagnose diabetes. But most do not need that. Most a simple blood sugar will tell us. Now, what can diabetes do? It leads to heart disease, up to four times the risk of, di of heart disease. High blood pressure, three out of four diabetics have hypertension. Diabetes is the number one reason for blindness in the United States today, preventable blindness. Kidney disease, number one cause of chronic kidney disease, and number one reason for dialysis. Nervous system, 60 to 70 percent of diabetics develop damage to their nerves, and when the nerves fail, they don't go quiet. <laughs> they go out in pain. They leave you in pain. That doesn't make sense, but that's what happens. When the nerves begin to fail, they cause chronic pain. And of course, it is still the number one reason for amputation in America. So clearly, we need to take care of this diabetes. Now, when we return from these important messages, let's get to the empowering part of this program. The negative is over. What can we do about diabetes? How can we make this a manageable condition so that you can live a good, long, productive life when we return? You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. 
And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Are you following a low-fat diet? While it's true that too much fat makes us overweight, certain types of fat are actually good for us. Add to your diet omega-3 fats such as fish and flaxseed oil, and omega-9 oleic acid found in olive oil. And reduce in your diet omega-6 found in corn, safflower, and peanut oil, and saturated fats found in meats and whole milk dairy products. Studies show those fats can promote inflammation and chronic disease. The Mediterranean diet can help you make good choices, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean meats, fish, olives, and olive oil. So remember, increase omega-3 and omega-9 fats. Reduce omega-6 and saturated fat. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back everyone learning everything that we need to know about how we can prevent and manage diabetes the natural way. So Richard, now that we know what diabetes is yes. and what it potentially can do to our health, we can talk about, we can turn this whole thing around to the positive side. Yes. What can we do to prevent diabetes and should we get diabetes, what do we do to manage it? Well, the, the things we'll do are the same. If you've been told you have metabolic syndrome and diabetes is impending, or perhaps you've been told you have diabetes and you want to manage it better, we do the same things. Now, first, a study of 30 diabetics, some of them had been diabetic for up to 10 years. They found 13 of the 30 completely reversed their diabetes condition. This is type 2 diabetes, adult onset, by losing weight and keeping it off. Weight loss is key in managing diabetes. They found of the 13 th that succeeded, the uh, 17 that did not, they all had extremely low insulin levels. And that's important because type 2 diabetes is associated with insulin resistance and high levels of, of insulin, not those who did not respond to the weight loss program. Diabetes prevention program, this is a study of 3,000 people. These are participants had high risk for diabetes, metabolic syndrome, they're on the edge, family history, this type of thing. They found that a weight loss of just five to seven pounds and diet and exercise, cleaning up the act, completely prevented type two diabetes. Five pound loss, you may have 100 pounds to lose, but if you just get into the weight loss physiology, five to seven pounds or so, with a better diet and a little exercise, 30 minutes of walking every day, you, the vast majority can completely prevent type 2 diabetes. That is good news. 
Good news. A BMI reduction of five points, you know, body mass index of five points, decreases your risk of diabetes 50%. A 10-year trial of over 1,400 type 1 diabetics, these are all people using insulin on a daily basis, those who kept their hemoglobin A1C at normal were able to prevent further complications. You are not doomed to a life of diabetic complications if you manage your disease well. All humans suffer. We all eventually suffer. Even the best athletes, the smartest, the brightest, the strongest, eventually have a health condition. That's how life is. We're imperfect creatures. But you can delay the majority of these complications. And many of them you can absolutely prevent. Oxford University, a 20-year trial. Imagine the effort behind following a large group of people 20 years. Uh, tight control for the first 10 years of the 20 years prevented complications at year 20, even if the tight control had been abandoned. So no one's perfect. What I, how I understand this, how I take this study is, I do really well most of the time, but on a weekend I may have a little treat. Well, okay, it's allowed, but our daily regular pattern is one of good control. This leads to fewer complications, and years down the road, you're better off with even partial compliance than no compliance at all. Does that make sense? Because that's an important point. Did that come across good? Good. So your effort is worth the effort in controlling diabetes. So what do we have to do? Let's talk about the things. We have to exercise for a minute, minimum of 30 minutes every day. Now, many people with diabetes are in chronic pain with um, disabling joint afflictions, back pain, all sorts of things. And it's so easy to say, I've been there, I know. When you're hurting, I can't walk. But you're going to hurt worse if you don't walk. And you soon learn this. There's the initial phase of exercise and it's soreness, but that will pass. And then the pain starts to subside. I have to assure you of that. 30 minutes every day. You can have one day off. 30 minutes almost every day of exercise. And there's a physiologic reason for this, and we don't have time to get into it, but it helps your body to use glucose independent of insulin. Just think of it that way. You're bypassing that insulin resistance and using up that sugar that is damaging your tissues. Exercise. If you can't walk, you're going to have to do this. Get a can of beans in each hand and do this while you're watching the program. Get that heart rate up, okay? Have to do it. Have to do it. Stop the bad habits, no tobacco, alcohol is metabolized as, a, as sugar, and drugs of abuse. These things aren't helping you achieve your goals. Eat an organic diet whenever possible. Pollution may be a cause of diabetes. We're learning that now. Organic diets lower pollution levels in our bloodstream. Hundreds, hundreds of scientific writings confirm the majority of type 2 diabetes can be avoided, the majority can be reversed, and Almost every one of them can be managed better. But you have to know some things. A high fiber, plant based, low sugar and starch diet is critical. Only sugars and starches raise glucose levels, not proteins and not fats. So if you're having trouble with your glucose level, it's because you're getting too much starch and simple sugars. Number one reason for diabetes diet sodas, sweet sodas, fruity drinks, corn syrup, MSG, pollution, GMO. Cut those things out of your diet. It matters. If your grocer doesn't carry natural foods, tell them, I've been shopping here for 30 years, 20 years, whatever. I want more of these foods. Then you have to support his effort. He can't lose money on these things. You understand that. That's just business. So you have to help support those things. Five to nine servings daily of colorful fruits and vegetables, organic fresh meats, fish, fowl, these are all good healthy oils, olive oil, lots of good olive oil helps to prevent heart disease, no trans fats, our foods naturally have a small amount of trans fat but no added trans fats, processed foods are rich in trans fats, cut that out, whole grains when applicable if you can eat wheat and other grains, high fiber foods, nuts and seeds, fiber lowers glucose levels. Avoid fast food and prepackaged foods. Next time you're at the fast food stand, ask for a complete ingredient list to their foods. You will be stunned with all the chemicals they add to those foods. You, you need a chemistry degree to know what it is. That's not real food, that's a chemistry concoction. Uh, please. 
do it. It's a, it's a, it's a fascinating exercise. What, the day I did that, I never went into another fast food uh, as a regular routine. You know, when you travel, sometimes you have to get a little something just to hold you over. I understand that. But as a routine, I just don't do it anymore. And the turning point was the day I looked at what they put in our foods. This is one of the reasons why we have so many diabetics, folks. Three meals a day and two snacks is the traditional diet for a diabetic, but new research supports the notion of a large breakfast, a medium lunch, and no dinner. This gives us a prolonged fast overnight when we can burn up all the glucose that these meals create. Now, we need more supporting research on the concept of the large breakfast, light lunch, no dinner, as opposed to the three meals and two snacks. But this sounds good, and I think it's worth the effort to do a trial. Take track of your blood sugars and see how you respond. All right, we'll be back with the Supplements for Diabetes next. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker's Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. How often do you go into the grocery store to buy just a bag of chips or candy bar? I suspect not very often. Then how is it that these foods make it into our grocery bags and pantries? Do you make impulse choices and buy junk food? To control that impulse, plan your next trip to the store. Write down at least three days of menus and build a grocery list with the ingredients needed to prepare the meals. Eat a healthy snack before going to the store. If you are hungry, you're less likely to stick to the grocery list. Shop the perimeter of the store, starting with fruits and vegetables. Have you ever noticed the most healthy foods are in the outer aisles? And avoid items displayed at the checkout counter, trying to entice you to make a last minute purchase. Follow these tips and make a plan so your next trip gives you control and you come home with bags full of healthy food. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone, having a great discussion on managing diabetes the natural way. And before we get into the next section, I've got to let you know it's fall savings time at BioInnovations. Fantastic prices, best prices of the season. And free shipping on your orders, over $50 in the mainland USA. So it's a great time to get the plan you need to stay healthy. So, Richard, I know that as we go through the supplements that help 
This not only prevents diabetes, but to help nutritionally support diabetes, yes. manage diabetes, all of it, good health, total good health. Yes. And if you're told that you're pre-diabetic, you want to jump on this quickly. Yes, you do. You really, you don't want to wait. You want to get on it. And I know the list is really long and comprehensive, but it makes such a difference. I say, you know, you can do... You take care of it now, you won't have those other disease processes in the future that you talked about yes. at the beginning of the show. Yes. So it's definitely worth it. And this is a good time when the prices are so fantastic. I know it's a big list. And it so is. as you do it, if you could kind of tell people the order of importance or maybe that's how you did it in here. Well, I do. I, 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 they're all important, but some help more people than others. Right. And so I'll try to give you a priority sense. And one of the absolute most important is the alpha lipoic acid. Mm -hmm. This stuff is amazing, folks. The science will knock your socks off. If you love science, study alpha lipoic acid. It is a remarkable molecule that does amazing things for the human body. We normally make it for ourselves, but with advancing age and with disease, especially diabetes, our ability to produce alpha lipoic acid declines dramatically. Lipoic acid improves metabolism by helping insulin do its job. It improves the function of two enzymes that directly help to metabolize glucose into ATP. It also helps improve the function of two more enzymes that indirectly help us to metabolize glucose into ATP. So our bodies burn the glucose more efficiently when we have abundant alpha lipoic acid in our bloodstream. It's called a conditionally essential nutrient. We normally make it for ourselves, but sometimes we need to replace it supplementally. Diabetics do not make it enough of this substance, making it an important supplement. It is also a biphasic antioxidant. In other words, it's an antioxidant in fatty tissues and water-based tissues. That's important because we want it to go into the brain and into our nerves, which are fatty-based. Our bloodstream is water-based. It protects and reverses glycation end products. We said that the elevated glucose levels of diabetes lead to damaged tissues. The glucose actually attaches to the protein structures in the bloodstream and in the vasculature, and it changes the chemical nature of these tissues. Alpha lipoic acid reverses that. It reverses that and prevents further glycation to occur which is remarkable. Protects the nerve cell mitochondria, the little powerhouses of the cell, improving nerve function. Protects the heart. It protects the brain. It protects the eyes, the liver, kidneys, and the limbs. It regulates nitric oxide burst, improving immunity and circulation. Poor circulation is common in diabetes due to microvascular disease. It's been used as a drug in Germany for over 60 years now. And the majority of the studies for many years, were they were all done IV. And there was a big wonder, can we take it orally? Does it match IV? Who knows? Well, they've done those studies now. Oral dosage matches IV in blood level achievement, which is a remarkable thing. Our bodies quickly absorb this stuff. We like it, we need it, we absorb it quickly. Uh, <clears throat> there are no known side effects or drug interactions. I have reviewed literally hundreds of alpha lipoic acid research projects and uh, human studies, and there's never any side effects reported other than a little queasiness with high doses. Dose is so high, most of you never need it. If you're having a problem, it's probably something other than the alpha lipoic acid. It could be a coloring agent. It could be something in the gel cap. It could be something in the product. Who knows? It could be something else. But it's not the alpha lipoic acid. That's what the research says. Now, anything can happen to anybody. You know, it's beyond the realm of saying that no one will ever have a reaction. But this is well tolerated well-tolerated stuff. It now, it may lower your blood glucose levels, so if you take alpha lipoic acid and medicines to lower glucose, keep track of your blood sugar because you may need less medicine. This is really all about lessening your dependency on medicine. It doesn't mean you need less alpha lipoic acid. It means you need less medicine because alpha lipoic does what no medicine can do for your system, all these benefits. No medicine does these things. None. None of them do. It improves glucose control, reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes complications, and it reverses neuropathy for the majority. It can take four or six weeks, but you can stay on this substance for as long as you need it, and it helps to keep those nerves going. The next thing that is very important is chromium, chromium picolinate. This is an essential trace element. 
chromium picolinate form is the best absorbed of the chromium options. There's a nic nicotinate. There's other forms of chromium. And you have to get the right type of chromium because some chromiums are not good for us. Uh, but the chromium supplements, they're all fine. They're all fine. Chromium promotes the action of insulin. We cannot make and produce and utilize insulin without chromium in our bodies. And the typical American diabetic has a blood level of chromium 40% lower than it should be. We are hampering our ability to process glucose because we are so low on chromium. My only beef with chromium is that some people take huge doses that nobody really needs. 200 micrograms, 400 micro, micro, tiny, tiny micrograms, 600 micrograms. Occasionally somebody may need 800, but 1200 is the limit. Over that, we can see toxicity getting too much. This is a trace element. We don't want too much of it. So start with 200. 200 micrograms a day the first week. Next week, go to 400, 600. Stay at 800 or so, and don't, never exceed 1,200, and you'll be fine. Glucoman and fiber. Soluble fiber delays the release of sugars and glucose and fructose from our intestines into our bloodstream. It slows the process down so our livers can handle, our livers and our pancreas can handle this glucose. Soluble fibers. One of the best tolerated f soluble fibers is glucomannan fiber. It decreases the glycemic index. It helps to pull the toxins out of our bloodstream. All fibers do. Soluble and insoluble fibers. We're talking about glucomannan in sol or soluble fiber right now, it helps people to lose weight. Multiple studies have shown about a uh, five pound weight loss over a 12 week period with no dietary change, just added fiber. Two grams of glucoman in a day over 12 weeks, five pound weight loss. See that five pounds, that's enough to reverse diabetes in a lot of people. That's the five pounds we were talking about. It increases dietary satisfaction. It expands the gut lumen. When you're full, you're full. You feel full. You feel full with fewer calories. Reduces the, uh, the surge of sugar into our bloodstream. Reduces postprandial hyperglycemia. I ate a meal and my sugar's way too high. We have less of that when we get the soluble fiber. Now, when we return from these important messages, let's talk about Grape seed extract and resveratrol for diabetes. This stuff is amazing. You're going to want to know this. We'll be back. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall saving celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Here is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love, that will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, 
and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Welcome back, everyone. We're learning a lot today, aren't we? This is just great information. And I've got to remind you, it is fall savings celebration at BioInnovations. Fantastic prices and free shipping on orders over $50 in the mainland USA, so don't miss it. Richard, the next one, this next little jewel is good for, oh it's just a total health situation. It really I is. I mean, I know it's really key. It's a key element for the diabetic. They've got to take advantage of grapeseed extract with resveratrol. Yes. But it helps so much more. Yes, the dark red and deep purple colored grapes are full of these powerful antioxidants. And grapeseed extract and resveratrol grapeseed is, of course, from the seed of the grape and resveratrol from the skin of the grape. Multiple studies grapeseed complex and resveratrol both, they induce the thin gene, act, the SIRTA1 gene. And this, what it does is you can take an overweight person who's eating a fatty, sugary diet, put them on resveratrol and grapeseed extract, and it turns on the gene, and it actually turns their ph physiology into that of a thin person. Multiple studies have proven this now. In recent months, some people have done studies with huge doses of resveratrol, 100 times more than we know is necessary to achieve this effect, and it has no effect at that high dose. And then they say, ah, oh, resveratrol and grapeseed, it's been disproven. There's no benefit to it. Well, you've overdone the whole thing. You know, you can get too much of a good thing. Now, it's not toxic, but you don't need two, three, four grams of resveratrol. Five milligrams, 10 milligrams provide the diabetic with health benefits. This is remarkable stuff. Clinical study found that 28-day course of resveratrol significantly reduces glucose in an oral glucose tolerance test. That was out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. Turns on the SIRTA1 thin gene. Uh, England, uh, Peninsula Medical School, England found resveratrol helps to prevent diabetes damage to the blood vessels. Multiple studies now have proven this. You don't need huge doses. One capsule a day is plenty. In fact, one capsule every other day is enough. Make it more economical. It also reduces blood pressure, particularly salt-sensitive hypertension. It's a, a fantastic anti-cancer remedy. It is also anti-inflammatory and a powerful antioxidant, and it will help to keep the yeast down in the intestinal tract, which is a major problem in diabetes. That is a must-take. The, all the ones we've done so far are on the A-list. Vitamin D is the next one on the A-list. We know without any doubt now that vitamin D deficiency dramatically increases your risk of diabetes. It also increases your risk of rapidly progressive and damaging diabetes and its complications, it increases the risk of chronic pain, and increases the risk of infection. And those who take vitamin D have improved control of their glucose levels and reduced complications. There's no doubt about this. Everyone wants to discredit the natural world because they're selling you drugs. Please believe me on this issue. You may need a medicine, but you don't know if you need a medicine until you're well nourished. That's the essence of what I'm trying to teach you. It is the essence, and I hope you get it, because this stuff saves lives. You want your blood level to be 50 to 70, and if you're a brittle diabetic, you may want a 70 to 80. Get it up there. It's safe at that dose. For most, that's four to 10,000 international units of vitamin D3 daily. But get your blood level taken. Next on our list 
is the antioxidants, the carotenoids like lutein, lycopene, astaxanthin, zeaxanthin, helps with the vision, keep the vision good, quercetin and olive leaf extract for cardiovascular disease prevention, acai, just a great general antioxidant, goji, helps with the hormonal control of things, goji is tremendous, plus it's full of the carotenoids. Mangosteen is an anti-infectious disease, a little mangosteen every day keeps the gut working right. Uh, curcumin, turmeric spice from turmeric, curcumin is tremendous for the brain and the nerves. Your antioxidants, cycle through them. Take two at a time, cycle through them. You'll find some work better than others for you. Next, probiotics and anti-yeast measures. Now listen, this part's important. We know without a doubt, not even a glimmer of doubt, that diabetes is accompanied by altered bowel flora. There's a profound disturbance of the gut bacteria in the generation of diabetes, type 2 diabetes. For you to achieve good control, we must address that issue. Now, I'm not certain that we can completely reverse it to a normal gut probiotic type status, but we can improve it. I have no doubt about that. And we have to continually take probiotics in the form of probiotic dairy and probiotic supplements. These are all critically important. How do you, it's like your children. How do I say, I love this one more than that one? I can't, I can't do this. These are all very important. And we have to trust the Spirit will tell us, this is important for you. Listen. That's how I do it. Omega-3s. You know, the omega-3s, fish oil, flaxseed oil, avocado oil, all flaxseed oil. They're all tremendous. They keep the blood vessels soft and pliable. Next is noni juice. I can't think of a better agent to help control the pain of diabetes. Plus, they've been able to prove that noni juice improves insulin resistance. No wonder the Polynesians have used noni to help control their diabetes for hundreds of years now. Yeah, noni juice. Now, we have just a few more, and we'll talk about them when we return. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha, Noni, and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Our health depends on the choices we make every day and few conditions are as dependent on our choices as diabetes. So here is your daily diabetic checklist. Number one, take your diet seriously every day. Eat lean protein and leafy vegetables. Number two, sugars and starches raise blood glucose, so reduce them in your diet. Number three, check your blood glucose and record the readings every day. Number four, take your medication daily and don't skip. And number five, try to exercise every day. It will help you take off weight, which will help your body regulate blood sugar better. If you are diabetic, this is your quick daily checklist that could make life better. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. 
BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back. Just a quick reminder, it's fall savings time at BioInnovations. Don't miss it. Great prices. So, Richard, there's a few more supplements to get through. I don't yes. want to miss these because no, they're don't. so important for the management because of the diabetic. Something we talk about now may be the one for you, and it's right. so important. Next is milk thistle, the herb that creates the silymarin compounds. Uh, is now have shown the milk thistle's effect on the liver. You know, everybody thinks, well, glucose control is all about the pancreas. It is, but it's also the liver. The liver is the, the main metabolic center of the body, and milk thistle helps to improve liver function. Diabetics who take milk thistle, it improves all their measures of glucose control. Multiple studies have shown this fasting blood glucose, postprandial gl gl glucose, the long-term glucose, the cholesterol, all of them improve. Liver inflammation calms, and a calm, happy liver processes glucose better. See, that's nice. Spirulina can complement, spirulina can complement milk thistle beautifully. Don't forget that one, nice little jewel. Fenugreek, this Ayurvedic herb, helps to uh, calm the diabetic. It helps to control the blood sugars. It's been used in India for centuries successfully. And I wish you could consider it. Now, we have a program on fenugreek. We have a program on milk thistle. You can learn more about each of these if you watch regularly. Next, cinnamon. Adding cinnamon. See, we usually put cinnamon on our honey buns, and pumpkin pie, and apple pie, this type of thing. But if you start adding cinnamon to your vegetables, you're going to improve your glucose control. Isn't that nice? Most people use it that way as opposed to taking a pill, but you can do that. Cinnamon helps control blood glucose. Now, this is really important. A multiple vitamin and mineral. Diabetics wash out nutrients. A typical diabetic requires 10 to 15 times the thiamine as a non-diabetic. Why? Because their kidneys are beginning to malfunction and we don't reabsorb the B vitamins back into the urine like a normal person does. You must replace these B vitamins. They are critical. They have also been able to prove diabetics who take a quality multiple vitamin and mineral have fewer infections fewer problems down the road, fewer complications. So taking these nutrients is very important. The medicinal mushrooms, maitake, reishi, ABM, beta-glucans, inositol, these agents help to maintain a strong immune response. You know, good health and longevity is all about quality immune response, mounting a response quickly and efficiently. And diabetics' immune response is compromised. There is no doubt about it. So the medicinal mushrooms, the beta-glucans, the IP6 and Ostol all play a role. Very helpful. Cordyceps sinensis helps to increase your ATP production so that your body has more energy so it's easier to take a walk. The medicinal mushrooms are outstanding in diabetes. Now, the number of diabetics are increasing. It's at a record rate, but you don't have to be one of the crowd. If you're willing to make some changes, become involved in your own health care, that's the key. You can reverse this pattern. You may not be completely successful at reversing diabetes, but you will improve your status. And over time, this leads to a better quality of life, even if you're not perfect. Who amongst us are? But each day we can get a little better, we can learn more about this, and have the quality of life that God wants us to have. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow, folks, right here. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Some time ago, I had a conversation with a Marxist economist from China. He was coming to the end of a Fulbright Fellowship here in Boston. And I asked him if he had learned anything that was surprising or unexpected. And without any hesitation, he said, yeah, I had no idea how critical religion is to the functioning of democracy. The reason why democracy works, he said, is not because the government was designed to oversee what everybody does, but rather democracy works because most people, most of the time, 
voluntarily choose to obey the law. And in your past, most Americans attended a church or a synagogue every week, and they were taught there by people who they respected. My friend went on to say that Americans followed these rules